tomato soup. So I'm gonna turn my pan to a medium high heat and let it get hot for a few minutes. Then I've got about two tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna drop it right in and let that melt. All right, to the melted butter, I'm gonna add some sliced onions. Stir that around and just let it break down a little bit. So it's really important when you're doing a soup or a casserole, anything that has a lot of ingredients, it's to season as you go. So you wanna salt the onions. Stir that in. And then just let them do their thing. I'm gonna stir occasionally and keep it on about a medium heat. All right, so you wanna let the onions cook until they become translucent and just a little bit caramelized, probably about three to five minutes, depending on your cooking temperature. So I'm using sliced onions because we're gonna blend all of this and break it down. But if you wanted to skip that step, you could dice the onions and just have a little bit smaller bits in there. So once your onions have broken down a little bit, we're gonna add two cans of diced tomato. The liquid in there is gonna help deglaze the bottom of the pan, which basically means that it pulls all the goodness from the browned onions off of it. And I like the diced tomatoes because the liquid in them as well is going to help this keep simmering. Whereas if you were to use a crushed tomato or a tomato sauce, it would be just a little bit thick and so it gets kind of gluffy as it starts to simmer. So we're gonna stir that around. And then we're just gonna bring that up to a simmer. Once we start to see bubbles, we're gonna reduce the heat all the way to low, pop the lid on, and just let it cook for about 20 minutes. All right, so I have our soup here. Lovely pitcher, we're just gonna scoop some out. Make sure you kill the heat. Get in there. Okay, so towels of the rescue, we're just gonna come up and into the blender. Make sure the blender is off. Awesome. And we're just gonna do about another half cup more there. When you're blending hot liquids, don't ever go above the halfway mark of the blender because the heat will cause it to expand and it will blow the lid off, which is not so much fun. So we're just gonna whiz this up. If you have an immersion blender, you can absolutely use that as well. in here and repeat with the second half. Alrighty, back into the pan. Say goodbye to that. Back into the pan with this one. All right, so we've got the soup blended. We're gonna add some salt back in here. I'm just gonna stir that up and give it a taste. So I have heavy cream, about one cup. We're gonna add that in as well. Just a little more salt to compensate for that cream. The reason heavy cream in tomato soup is so good is because it is a fat and fat is a flavor carrier. So it just takes all of that flavor we just built and makes it phenomenal. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna dish this up. Okay. All right, so we have our tomato soup. You could put a little bit of heavy cream on it, but I'm just gonna do a drizzle of olive oil. A few basil leaves. In real life, you would chop these up so they're actually edible, but you know, it's for a photo, so obviously, I'm just gonna have them stick straight up there. Voila, 
Got your five ingredient fabulous tomato soup ready to go. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to see more, or you can head over to our website, cleavercooking.com. All right, to that melting butter, I'm gonna add some sliced tomatoes. Cut. <laughs> How do you fix that? Pull them out? Yep, pull them out. <laughs> All right, so you wanna let the tomato... No. <laughs> Um, so I'm using sliced tomatoes because... <laughs>